Welcome back folks and thanks for joining us here for this week in agribusiness. It's that time of the year when combines are moving into the shed and farmers are going over data from the growing season. More growers are finding that fungicides are making a difference in their bottom line. Max got into details with our friends at BASF for this most recent Plant Smart Grow Smart. What makes BASF fungicides unique? One thing that makes us very unique is yield and the consistency that we see in that yield. So the number one thing uh, farmers ask is, is this gonna return on my investment, right? Am I gonna see a return in the dollars I spend on the spray? And I think it's an important question to ask. So when we launched Veltima and Revitech fungicide, what we did was work on building a system that we could publicly display all of the fungicide data that we have. So revxfields.com has performance from fungicide full-scale fungicide trials all over the country. We've got a thousand plus proof points that are published by a third party. So a grower who's looking for performance, looking for consistency, which really does set aside Veltima and Revy Tech, um, they can see in, in what is the, the country's largest publicly available fungicide data set. There are always those doubting Thomases, the, the non-believers among us, whenever the, you look across the, the products that are offered to farmers. Are you seeing any trends among those folks who, who maybe haven't yet uh, come forward to come to the realization that they need fungicides? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. So we did focus groups recently and got the opportunity to talk to growers when they didn't know who I was, right? And give a really unbiased uh, recollection of their experiences with fungicides. The first group of them, didn't consistently use a fungicide. And you know what they did? They left a test strip. And when I asked them, hey, what kind of yield are you looking for to get that return on investment to really justify incorporating a fungicide as a part of your plan? And they left a test strip and they had, you know, I'm looking for a buck and a quarter return on investment and had very specific things to say. The next group who use a fungicide consistently, I asked the same question, hey, what kind of return are you looking for? And you know what, Max? They weren't even leaving a test strip. It took one season, maybe two seasons, for them to see that return on investment on their farm and be like, oh man, you know, I'm leaving bushels on the table. So the grower is looking at uh, what they want to be doing for the season ahead. What are some of the key questions that they should be asking relative to their fungicide needs? I think the question is really, what is your yield goal, right? What are you looking for? How many bushels do you really need? What are you really expecting to get out of the, out of the crop? And trying to work backwards from there. It was really interesting. I had, I had a conversation um, with an aerial applicator and he'd done a ton of fungicide testing, a ton of test strips, had a huge data set. And what he told me that was interesting, when he looked you know, section by section in the field, oftentimes uh, the untreated control and the treated control they were about the same, right? But what the difference was is that the minimum on the untreated was way lower and the consistency on the fungicide treated was better. I've heard other growers tell me that, hey, I get a better ROI on my fungicide on my worst ground versus my best ground. So I really think when you think about using a fungicide, what you're really doing is you're taking that variability out of your field and you're raising your yields by raising your minimum. How satisfying has it been to you personally, working for BASF, to hear these producer stories and to hear the, the passionate feedback you're getting from them. It's incredible to see them bring a yield map and be so proud of what they did on their ground, to see year after year that improvement in yield. It's incredibly satisfying to represent a company that's bringing some of the best technology to the market and continues to pump a ton of money into innovation because we're not done yet with BASF fungicides. Thank you, Max, for that update. And viewers, if you want to see all the videos in the Plant Smart Grow Smart series, you can do that on the website, plantsmartgrowsmart.com.